Oil, onions. Onions. A sachet of your jollof mix. It's very important. This is um, Wafes, the only avenue where you have the whole of Africa coming together um, to uh, taste what we have. So you have almost similar food. Uh, this, you might be wondering, it's not a boat, it's a paper, um, paper bowl if you want. And this is what we are using in tasting the food. Let me also be biased and start from the Ghanaian table. So from here you have, um, you have people doing their tasting anyway. So you have fish, um, fried fish, you have pepper, you have king cake, uh, gan king cake, you have um, kontomre, you have bobby taddy, that is um, anchovies and then uh, some stew beans sauce, plantain. Um, this, this is mainly Ghanaian dish, so it, uh, we, we know our way around it, but we would hit other tables because we have uh, other chefs from other countries. They will be telling us what they are also serving from their country. So let's get closer to them and then we will find out what they are serving. Um, hi. hi, please your name. My name is Chef Ola Shadi. Um, this is Nigeria, right? Yes, yeah, it is Nigeria. So what are you serving? I'm serving our Western food from Western Nigeria, which is um, uh, of father rice with the sauce. So this, this is what? This is of father rice. Father rice. Yeah, it's a local rice. Okay. Planted in Nigeria, grew in Nigeria. It's a bit long, like this, bigger than the normal rice that you know. That's his own taste, is that natural taste of his own. And you always make when you want to prepare it, kind of like make the rice alone. Then the sauce, you use the green pepper alone, blend with it. Then you use it to boil egg. But mom, that's our native mom. Then you use our iru, which they call um the wadawa. Then fish, another thing, oil. Seasoning, salt to taste. So literally, we are different countries, but we are eating almost the same food. Yes, because we, got, we are eating almost the same food, but you know, each tribe, kind of like each, like in Nigeria, we have the six geopolitical zones, which are the foods you can see we just presented on this table. So for everybody to have a taste of it, you know, my own taste too may be different from yours. We got the taste of oneness. All, we are almost all eating the same, but the way we prefer, prefer it, give us that unique taste. Thank you so much. Personally, apart from Ghana, the next attachment I have is Nigeria. Because at least I know Tomo, I know Shaki, I know Foriro, I know Eba. These are foods I have tasted. But um, from your shorts, you can see plantain. You have um, one looking like um, the Kontomere stew we have here in Ghana. Uh, I will get closer and then still find out what they are serving here. Um, sorry to disturb you. Okay, let me start with you first. Please, your name. I'm, I'm Chef Tonya. Chef Tonya. Yes. Uh, so what are you serving? Serving bitter leaf and eba, vegetable soup and semo. We have a bacha and uba. The semo I have heard about. What what really is that? It's a we is it's a flour. Oh, um, how will I explain it to you? It's a grain made of okay. yes, like cereal. It's like cereals and it's blended to a very smooth texture. For the for the eba, I know eba, I know a foriro, but um, the bitalim soup, yeah, I think I have tasted that one. But um, how how different is that from what we eat here in Ghana? Because when you check, it looks like Ghana, Nigeria, we are having almost the same dishes. Probably the preparation that is different. The preparation is just a different thing. We will use some. Um, Kukoya, I'm where they eat the dons. That is the, the, the preparation is just the difference from the boat food. So what's this? This is abacha. Made with a coconut? No, made with cassava flour. Oh. Okay. So uh, that was Chef Tony doing some of the explanations, telling us uh, what we are having on the Nigerian table. It's quite an interesting one. Um, let me ask, Chef, your name? My name is Farida Musa. Farida, so what do you have here? What, what stew is this? Um, this is a pumpkin soup. Um, it's made from pumpkin and spinach. Uh, mostly northern Nigerian um, people eat this food, soup. And it's been eaten with, um, this is um, Sinasur, this is the local name. It's actually fermented coconut rice pancake. It's eaten with this. Fermented coconut rice pancake? Yes. And it, it's only peculiar to Nigerians? Yes, mostly northern part of Nigeria. So you 
ferment your coconut and you add rice. Ferment your rice to sleep overnight, then you um, put in yeast to rice, then you mix it up and with your co you blend it with your coconuts, then you fry like a pancake. Awesome. So this is Nigeria. This is the Nigerian table. So we've seen Ghana. We've seen Nigeria. Let's move to the next flag. Um, they they are having most most of the uh, local food from the their country. Boss, you welcome to Metro. Which, which country are we seeing here? Here, here we, are, we, are, we are from African gastronomy, which is a different country in Africa. So right now we are presenting food from uh, Togo, Benin, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, Cameroon, and all, all those apples, Burkina, all those countries that African gastronomy is in. I was carrying my boat around, but it looks like my boat cannot do tasting here. But what? what, what this, this is what? With, uh, we make it with uh, 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 granite, so you can eat straight up. Granite, yes. Um, I'm just trying. Wow, that's hard. Okay. And this is. This a corn wine. Corn wine. The wine we make a wine with a corn. How do you do that? Is it from a factory or you do it in your? Benin. It's from Benin. It's made from Benin. It's made from your house. Made. It's handmade. handmade. From, from the Benin. So he says this is corn wine. That's strong. That, that, does it have some alcohol? Yes, it's 4% of alcohol. 4% of alcohol. We use, we use it most of, most of the time from dressings. Our dresses. Instead of using vinegar, you can use uh, corn wine to, to do your, your dress. Because it looks like uh, I can taste vinegar from this one too. But how beneficial is this to my health? Chef, how, how beneficial is this to my health? This is very beneficial because, because it's 100% natural and made from uh, by, with hand. So, Sh Chef, your name, I didn't get your name. My name is Chef Lopez from Togo. Togo. I mean, that's my country, my sister country. So, right from Ghana, you move into Togo, and um, chef served me with the corn wine. It says it's handmade, and then I have some um, granite pastry here. So, on display is food from various parts of Africa. And believe you me, when you taste this, oh, <laughs> oh, okay. chef, your name? Fafaji. From which country? From Togo. From Togo. Okay, so this is the main Togo table. So what 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 do we have here? We call that akume. We make it with a maize. Akume. Akume. Ladies and gentlemen, local food. And here we so have. Is it only maize? Only maize. Okay. Yeah. Akume from and then this one. And this one is a goma. Akume. Goma. Our own goma. Spinach. Our, our uh, uh, local spinach. It's a very delicious. So so it, this is just like our banku in Ghana, on, and, and then um, and the uh, spinach, Very local spinach stew. Wow, I would I would have to come back I'm later and do the uh, tasting. Chef, thank you so much. You this, right? So from here we have I'm rice. Really I mean, sure. everyone knows rice in the calabash. I have. To a now. Mama, I Mama, you you are in, you, are you enjoying the meal? Yes, I'm yes, very so enjoying. It is oh, very tasty. Are you also from Togo? We yes, I'm from, from Togo. Togo and do you prepare um, you rice, a makuma, and uh, bakery? Oh, this okay. is boma. But, uh, the amazing bit is you are eat. This is a Nigerian dish, right? Yes, I want to try with uh, somebody. Cook. That, that's that's the beauty. That's the beauty of this whole event. So she's she's a Togolese chef, but she's enjoying she's enjoying Nigerian food. To tell you that we are different people, but we are also one people. We it's just one Africa, and our foods are oh, even wow, almost Nigerian the same. Zobo. Chef, your full name? Nigerian Zobo. My I name? You should come try this. I'm Vivia Jamagbo. How long have you worked as a chef? Oh. This is um, 30 ans. 30 ans. 30 ans. 30 ans. 30 years. You've been a chef for 30 years? Yes, sir. Whoa. Then you have lots of experience to bring to bear. Yes, I have lots of experience. And uh, this is uh, work and you like it. When you don't like it, you don't uh, stay long. 
Thank, uh, like, like we say in Togo, merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. So, um, Chef is from Togo and she has, uh, she's having 30 years of experience uh, doing culinary um, skills. Um, please, which table is this? Uh, Burkina Faso. Whoa, so this is from... Um, Butter night south. Come again. Butter night. Uh, Potiro. It's a better Hello. night. Oh, it's a dessert. This is a dessert from Burkina Faso. If you can see me, uh, soup. come closer to me. Three. Something magical is about to happen. Um, you, you, are, you are trying to speak to English, me. but it's fine. Don't worry. Uh, you can see me. What about this? And this is entree. It's a um, kura kura right. salad Wherever you can see with me, a wagashi. It's a fish. Okay. Look, how, look how cheese wagashi is. Yes. Granite. So you eat this Wherever one with this, and then what about this one? It's the rice in in pule ori, so sumbala. So you use this one in preparation. Yes, to try this. So it's like dawa dawa in Ghana. Dawa dawa in Ghana. Okay, so um, chef is telling me this is sumbala from Burkina, but in Ghana we call it dawa dawa. So they use that in preparing this meat, uh, meal. So this is um, pule ori, meaning it has chicken and then rice and then plus the sumbala, which we call um, dawa dawa. Chef, what about this one? Gombo. Gombo. Um, okro. Okro. And uh, to, uh, maize, uh, maize, maize, like tapioca, no, no, no. Maize, maize powder, um, like two tz, to, to, Burkina says to, and we say two. Oh, okay, c'est la même chose. <laughs> okay, so what? Um, before we go to the dessert, oh, this, this is, is um, okay. gombo, which is okra. So this is um, more of dried okra, right? Yes. Dried okra. Yes. Oui. Gombo is okra in English, right? Oui. So this is um, dried okra, and then this is more of our tea here in Ghana. And this is to. The meat of uh, um, goat. Meat of what? Mouton. 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 Um, goat. Goat or sheep. Mouton, mouton, say um, goat or sheep. Goat is chevron. Then mouton is um, sheep. Yes, mouton is sheep. Yeah. So um, okra with um, mutton. Yeah, mutton. We we say mutton in English. And then we have the two here. And then the dessert. What do you have here? Uh, it is salad de fruits. Ban yeah, le banane. And pastek. But with this side. But I put them uh, local beer. Local? Local beer. Local beer. Can I taste one? It is not alcohol. No alcohol. Sans uh, alcohol. Okay. Okay, so the sun has had an effect on it. Okay. So this is um, local beer with um, some watermelon from Burkina Faso. And this is what? It's um, the cream with the baobab fruit. With baobab? Fruit. Baobab fruit. The, the, we've got powder and we've got a, a cream. So today we have lots of things to learn from the various countries. They are teaching us um, different foods we have. And when you check the base ingredients, they are almost the same as what we are seeing here in Ghana. So almost all the countries have similar ingredients they cook with, but the end product is different. So you've seen um, a whole display. Um, Le crêpe. Petit mille. Crêpe de petit mille. Uh, crab de petit mille. Petit mille. Petit mille. So this is um, pancake made with millet and mango. Yeah, that is what he's saying. Uh, she's saying in uh, French. 
So, Chef, I'll leave you. Um, your name? Raisa. Chef Raisa. Chef Raisa. Yeah. And then, Chef, your name too? My name is Sergio. 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 From Burkina. From Burkina. Thank you so much. So, we are done with um, Burkina Faso. And, um, wow. This outfit looks so much like, um, is it Cameroon or, um, this is, is this a Ghanaian outfit? You are joking. Because I saw this in, is it Sierra Leone or they have uh, materials that look like this. But, uh, Chef, you are from which of the hotels? Me, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur now. I'm doing my own thing. We are training people for other uh, various places, like uh, children, like uh, couples. And now we are coming up with uh, a school very soon. So Africa Gastronomic, uh, we are part of Africa Gastronomic uh, Africa. But we are representing uh, Ghana in Africa gastronomy. That's why you can see that everybody are in the black. They are Africa gastronomy. That, okay, that's the batch yeah. there. Okay. Yeah, but we are representative. I'm the president of Africa gastronomic Ghana. Okay. And then you are from? And I'm also from Africa gastronomy. From Ghana? Yeah. Okay. We are representing Africa gastronomy in Ghana. How important is such a gathering? to one, the Ghanaian culinary industry, and then spreading to other parts of Africa? Uh, it's very important because, uh, you know, uh, Africa and uh, Ghana in global represent a lot in Africa. So this thing holding here today is a, a very great opportunity for us, for us to show our local spices, our local food, because uh, we Africa gastronomic, we are standing from uh, our ancestor food. Because our ancestor food, those are the healthy food. Those are the food that uh, uh, make us grow. So we can't just then leave them like that. So this program is a very good opportunity for us to bring this on board and to let the whole world know that yes, Africa to have great, great food. A food that we cannot just forget like that. So that's why African gastronomic is standing for. Thank you so much, Chef. Okay, sure. Yeah, we can say uh, Africa gastronomic is an association. And our main vision, or our target is what? We want to, uh, we want to uh, put our, our local food ahead. We want to push our local food. We want everybody, or we want to impose our local food to foreigners white people, Americans, uh, Chinese, or uh, wherever visit Africa, we will impose them. They must love our food. Yeah, they must love our food. And we are like a sort of revolution or revolutionary uh, chefs. We want to put a revolution. We want to bring a revolution in this Africa. Because it is that B and Y, uh, white people or, or Occidental, they impose their chicken. Yeah. So that's what we are trying to change. We want to fight for that. So uh, we just beginning. Africa gastronomic is in Ghana since 2019. So we are on it, and now we have our legalization, and now we are about to start to do a big job or a great job in Ghana here to change the kitchen. And together we can do it. We can do it together. We can do it, and we 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 are ready to receive or to partner with everybody that have the same vision as Africa gastronomic. So together we can do it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chef. So this is a food revolution we are actually embarking on. It is for us to make sure that our space, whether Ghana, West Africa, African space or culinary space is dominated by African food. We eat what we grow, we eat what we produce, we make use of our staple food. This is the African gastronomy um, team. They are also contributing their quota to making sure we build or leverage on what we as Africans grow. We'll still be around to look at what other African countries are also giving us today at the Wafest here at Alice Hotel. Already salivating for the food on display. This is the Sierra Leonean bench. But after a first glance, if you do not take cognizance of the flags or um, the colors from the country, you will think this is a Ghanaian table because you are, uh, uh, this is okra stew or soup. Yeah. 
with um, some crabs. You can see some salmon. This is uh, peanut soup, or what you call granite soup. And then this is almost looking like a contomere, but this is cassava leaves, one very nutritious leaf. Um, when you, you merge that one too with the okra, it's one nice combination. Um, chef, let me, oh, you are eating. Let me speak to um, my chef here. Please, your name? I'm Chef Kainis, the president of Chef Association Sierra Leone. Oh, awesome. The food on display, I know okra, but do you, do you eat okra that much in Sierra Leone? Oh, yeah, yeah, we are eating uh, okra so much because we eat okra in Sarno with fufu. With what? Oh, it's fufu. H how do you prepare your fufu? Fufu is, 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 is come out from cassava. Okay. From cassava, they grit it and they, and they, they pound it, it and they, they mold it and soak it. That's how it's prepared. Let, let me cut into what Chef is saying. In your shorts, you see that another chef is serving rice with um, okra. You have rice with okra and then a bit of the cassava uh, leaves too. Oftentimes, you, you barely see that in Ghana. Well, some of us like okra and rice, but that is what someone has been served now. Sh Chef, do you, you eat rice and okra in Sierra Leone? Yes, yes. We, the same thing that I, I just said. We eat rice and, and okra also. But mostly we eat rice and fufu. You understand? But we do uh, uh, um, come with this trip. Uh, but we, we, do, we, we come with uh, rice and millet. And that's, uh, that, that's our millet. So you eat the millet just like you eat the rice? Yeah, just like you eat the rice. We, we also came with bulgur. It's a wheat, it's a wheat form. Huh? We eat it as rice also. You know? So because uh, not everybody is eating rice in Sierra Leone. Some people eat millet, some people eat uh, bulgur, which is a brown wheat. You see, and this this um uh this starch come with this different type of food. Here, before we have here green, but at least no, that is green over there, still green. Okay, the green stew there. The green stew is there. We eat it with rice or whatever. Of course, um, as you have said before, this is with white okra, and now it's the granola soup, cassava leaf, yeah? and that one there with the rice and plasters on top. We call it permau. Pemahu. 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 Yeah. Made with what? Um, it's, 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 it's a, uh, a, a leaf that is called potato leaf. Potato, potato leaf. Potato, potato leaf. leaves, okay. Yes, they, they, they cook it steam and with pepper, onions like that. Dry, dry stew. Wow. So uh, normally we, we mix it up with rice, like one pot. Okay. You know, we mix the, the, that one with, uh, with rice, that, that, that leaf. So I that I'm doing all the talking, but I'll come back later on to do the tasting because the food displayed here is so sumptuous. You, I wish you were here to also do the tasting. But let me ask the other chefs. Chef, so far, which which um, country's food have you tasted and which one do you like? Uh, well, probably I taste uh, only uh, one food for now. I taste the Ghanaian food, but it was superb. Um, which, which of the Ghanaian foods? And uh, I think they call it uh, Eba. Eba, yeah. oh, okay. And it, the Nigerians also do make eba? Well, uh, I know the, the, they're making eba before, but I never taste it. Oh, okay. Your, your name, please? Alusain, Chef Alusain. Chef. From Sierra Leone. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, so, he has uh, made reference to tasting some Ghanaian dishes, and then he loves it already. But from what I've seen, the whole thing is looking more like Ghanaian dish. I'm so confused at the table, but this is a Liberian table. Yeah. So, um... Chef, let me, your name please. My name is Chef Alex Yama. I'm the president of the Liberian Professional Chefs Association. Okay. Um, chef, please don't close it. What, 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 we'll okay, let's start from here. So, here you have sweet potato leaf. Potato leaves. Yes, sweet potato leaf. Sweet potato. Yes, so we make it in the form of the... Green one? Yeah, green, yeah, potato green, this. So this is made with fish. And this is made with beans. Beans. Yeah, the, the kind of beans that you may wash so out is, with. Is this also sweet potato? No, this is beans. Okay, beans, only beans. Beans, yeah. But the beans, we make it with palm oil, and we, we make it in a form like, uh, you normally you make yours with washing, but we make with our, with beans tobogi. It's called tobogi. It's made with bacabane soda. Okay. Yeah, so this. So what he's saying is we normally um, add our beans, we use it in preparing our wache, yeah, but wache. this is how they prepare this, yes. with um, bicarbonate of soda yeah, bicarbonate and with um, other uh, palm oil and then other vegetables. And yeah. this is also the sweet potato stew. Yeah. 
sweet potato. So these are all sweet potato leaves yes. and then some fish um, looking like um, the red snapper. Yeah. 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 So looking yeah. like the red snapper. Yeah. yeah. So let's move to the next yeah. meal. And uh, um, chef, this one too. So this is uh, palm butter. Palm butter. Yeah, palm butter. It's, it's from the, the, the nuts from the palm nut. Okay. And it's crushed and then you strain it. So then you boil it until it becomes thicker. So then you add your vegetables and spice. But I'm seeing something. What, 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 what is yeah. that? This is a palm butter leaf. We call it palm butter leaf. It's palm butter leaf. spice, yeah. It's like you add bay leaf to it. Okay. It's because of the flavor. Okay. So you put it in the soil when it's boiling, then you add the flavor. So let me share a secret with you. Yeah. What Chef is talking about, the palm butter soup, we have the palm nut soup. Because we do not boil it to get it into a butter form, but we boil it in its liquid form and then we maintain it as such. And then the leaves you are seeing in the palm butter soup, we also have it here. I don't know how um, it's called in English, but the Akans call it Atieja. It is used in the production of palm oil and then it gives it that amazing aroma or amazing um, feel you get from your palm nut soup. So it's literally the same thing. What Ghana eats is what Liberia is eating. So like I say, it's different countries, but one people. And then we are being united by the foods we are um, making. So, um, the next one is... Rich. This is called Jibi. This is from the north. It's called it, what? Jibi. Jibi. Yeah. It's, 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 that's the name for it from my country. Okay. It's called GB. So it's two-letter word. Okay. Uh, this is uh, cassava. So and like fufu? Yes, like fufu. But you boil the cassava like this and you pan it. So you get this. It's the same in Ghana. Okay. So this is deeper. It's uh, dry cassava. You pass it and you, you, put, you, you, you crush it and you get the powder. And you make the powder with hot water and warm it and then you form it into ball. It's also the same in Ghana. So, so in so Ghana, we, we have the... If he was a Ghanaian chef, we would have got the um, palm, palm nut soup which is the um, butter soup we, are, we saw first, plus fufu here, cassava, or plus the um, dipper, which we call kokonte or abetia. So it's literally the same food. It's literally the same. So now I know when I travel to Liberia, I'm safe. I have food to eat. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing, yeah. So we serve our cassava and potato and elo, we boil them like this. And then we serve it with, 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 with gravy. So this is what? Tomato gravy. Oh, okay, tomato gravy with, yeah. um, with potatoes cassava. and then um, boiled yam yes. and then cassava. Yes. So that is how you serve your food. Okay. So today you don't have um, dessert or any other form of drink? So. Okay. But chef, have you tried any other food from any country since yeah. you started? Yes, yeah, since I came uh, today, I have tried Rwanda, I tried Sierra Leone. And I tried the Gambia, the Yasa. So the, one thing I'm seeing, it's almost the same, it's just different taste. Almost everything is the same, but it's just different taste. Yeah, that's why West Africans, we are the same people, one people, but different taste. Thank you so much. We are the same people, one people, but different taste. That is the beauty of food. This is food tourism, the only avenue where we all come together, love ourselves and our food, and then enjoy what each country brings on board. One of the countries people have been talking about. But let's forget about the flag today and talk about what the heat or the, the, the gas, the cooking utensils have to offer. Chef, you're welcome. Um, your name? I'm called Chef Paul Kamujisha, okay. coming from Rwanda. I'm executive chef of a hotel called Ume Grand Hotel. It's our first star hotel located in the city centre, Kigali. This is straight out pitching about Rwanda. Um, when I visit Rwanda, I'll go to Chef's Hotel. But chef, take us through the dishes you have here today. Okay, uh, starting with the condiments. Yes, we start with condiments over there. We have uh, four kinds of, of, of our local nuts, okay. which we, are, we have served as a condiment. Then we have cheese, our, our local cheese, with the, the tomato. This is the local cheese. Yes, it's, it's looking like a mozzarella no, cheese. It's Gouda. It's Gouda cheese with the cherry tomato. So we have our salad, but uh, almost got finished. It's uh, kachumbale, called kachumbale, Rwandan style. Onion, tomato, green pepper, and a little bit of uh, pumpkin, coriander and olive oil. 
Then also we have uh, the salad called Gasavo, Garden Salad. Gasavo is one of the biggest uh, district in town. It's located in town. So it's made of tomato, uh, papaya, nuts, and, uh, and onions. Then we, we had a uh, 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 mashed green banana with isambaza. What finish? That one is finished, finished. yeah. But this one, what, yeah, you know, this the one. sauce accompanying with the, that is isambaza. So it's it's, it's made from uh, kidney beans. Kidney beans? Yes, it's kidney beans puree. Okay. Now, this one is a uh, sogam. Sogum. sogum, okay. Okay. And this one is millet. This one is, is, is a pumpkin with the beans. This so, one. Um, let me cut you quickly. So this um, chef says it's a puree made from uh, kidney beans. Kidney beans. Yes. Yeah. So this is kidney beans yes. uh, puree, and then this is sogum. Yeah. So this um, it's 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 boiled, right? Yeah, it's, 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 it's the way you do the way you do. Uh, how do you call it? The one we made from uh, uh, cassava. Cassava. Yeah, yeah. What do, how, how do you call it here? Yeah. Fufu. Okay. It's like fufu. So, just, so, so like we sodium boil, fufu. Boil water, okay. Then we put flour. Then we do the paste. Okay. Yes. So we are learning. Yes. And then this is millet. Yes. Prepared so the same the way. The method of cooking is the same. Okay. Yes. Then th that's pumpkin, as I said. Okay. Pumpkin with skins. Okay. And, and beans. Okay. Yeah. This one is a sauce made from the granites. Our local granites. Local granites. Yes. This is a sauce. And this one, it is a sambaza. It's a small fish that we, we catch from our lake called uh, uh, Kivu, bordering to Congo. Then we mix with the pumpkin seeds. Then so we in, in Rwanda, they call it sambaza. But in, uh, here we call it Keta School Boys. Uh, it's anchovies. Yes. Uh, the Everest call it Bobby. So you have lots of names um, given to it across Africa, but it's the same, it's the same uh, yes. um, uh, fish uh, we are all enjoying. Okay. Chef, let's continue. This one is cassava leaves. Cassava leaves. Yes. Um, which I saw cassava leaves. Um, Burkina Faso. Gambia. Gambia. Okay, I think um, Sierra Leone also has cassava leaves. Yeah. Maybe you find the method of cooking is different. Okay. Yes. Then here we had uh, what do you call the roast goat. Roasted goat. We marinate it, the goat. It can be get goat, goat leg or go, goat ham. Then after marinating, we seal it. Then we, we braise in the oven. After cook, being cooked, then we carve. The, we are, depending with, the, with your portion that you want. Yes. But goat finish. This one is our local chicken. Stew, the Lord Lana. Do you know the, those local chicken? Local chicken. Uh, the Lord Lana. Okay, okay, the Lord Lana. Yes. Then we add some spinach okay. and uh, granites also. Then it, it becomes a stew. Then you add banana, the green banana. In our language, we call it jisafria. Normally, it's, it, it's being consumed during uh, breakfast. Yeah, but you can also serve it during lunchtime. So before we go to the next one, um, this is lamb. According to chef, it was mari uh, goat. It was marinated, and then uh, you have some tomatoes. You have garlic. Um, it's already been marinated, uh, put in the oven, and then it's brought back. They carve it, and then it's brought back here, and then um, the seasoning continues in the chafing dish. And then from here, this looks like our everyday granite soup. Um, they use their local granite or peanut. And then he has um, some chicken, the local chicken, which we normally call the road runners. And then you have banana, the green banana. And from what Chef is saying, it can be taken as breakfast or um, in the course of the day. Chef, um, right. this is the, the, the trad our traditional goat stew. Goat stew. Uh, goat stew. It is boneless. You, 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 you cut in two tubes. You boil it. After boiling, you strain. You separate the, the stock with the meat. Then you get uh, cooking oil, add onion, add garlic, add the tomato puree a little bit, add, add goat, then add the stock. Then you simmer. It takes uh, one to one hour uh, on, on the stove. Then you add some coriander, then you season. 
That is it. So this is our Ghanaian Aponchin Kwai or goat's light soup. And that is how the Rwandan way of preparing it. And there we use the bones, but this is filleted. It has been filleted and then it has been cubed. So they use the cube um, filleted um, goat and then uh, they prepare it just like we do. But we do not use coriander, but they oftentimes have the coriander and then other uh, spices that is best known to them. Chef, the last one here. The last one is green banana, low, with the uh, garden peas. What, what we do, we cook together until it's cooked. Then you add, we add a little bit of uh, uh, banana pile. Then we season, that is it. Yeah, so this one is our famous dish in Rwanda, yes. So um, this is Rwanda, Rwanda in Ghana. And that is how beautiful our dishes put us together. Because we've seen other people coming to take a bite of Rwanda. So Rwanda, apart from the rich um, tourist sites we see, they also have food tourism at its best. This is very tasty. Chef, which other country have you tasted? Have you tasted any food from any other country? Yes, I tasted Ghana. I tasted Nigeria, the Jerofa rice of, from Nigeria. And also I've tasted the, the banana leaves for Gambia. Uh, what did you taste from Ghana? Ghana, I tasted the, the, the fish. The fish? Yes. Okay. And how, how, how did you find it? Oh, okay, to me, I, I do like the, the spicy, the pepper, but that was, was good, it was tasty, okay. yes. And also I tasted the, uh, I don't know the name, is it fufu or what? The, uh, fufu also, yes. Um, I have been following um, this program, uh, yeah, I think for about two or three years now. Uh, let me be biased because I am a chef's kid, so I, I'm interested. But how different is this very years? I think last year was in Liberia, and then we are seeing Ghana's um, display. How different is this year's program? Uh, if you look at this year, I think it's bigger than last year, because last year in La Liberia we were only about three countries. But this year we have had about almost uh, 13 countries who are represented here with over 162 chefs across Africa. So you see that uh, WAPES is growing because we started with only five countries and today we have migrated to 13 African countries. So we realize that WAPES has really, really, really at least grown from but, one. But, but what, what magic are you doing? Because like I said, monitoring, you started with very small, um, a very small number and then it is warfare, so any uh, any other person would think it's just West Africa, but it looks like now you are pulling everyone into yeah, the net. Because that is how the uniqueness of the warfare is. Because right now, as I'm speaking, a lot of other uh, African countries are also anxious to come and see what we are doing, so that they can able to go and duplicate into their country, which means that we are doing a very good job, and at the end of the day, it has inspired a lot of diplomatic missions for them to come and see. If you look around, look at, our food culture with various countries, if you go through, you see that we have the same food. Just the method, just the preparation that makes it different from what others are doing. So um, if, I, if I ask you to, in three lines, uh, speak to not only Ghanaians, but we as Africans, because food tourism is one uh, avenue that brings us together as Africans. So if you are to give um, some words out in three sentences, what will it be? Three sentences in West Africa or the whole Africa? Whether to West Africans, to Ghanaians, to Africa. So for my Ghana, as for my Ghana, will be the number one. Okay. Then I can able to go and experience what is in Rwanda, then I go to the uh, southern part of Africa. Because we have, at the moment, we have the South Africa here. We have the East Africa, which is Rwanda, and at the same time, the West. So that is where I can able to go. And experiencing it, like, it's very, very marvelous and fantastic job that we have done. You made one profound um, thing 
known in uh, during the um, earlier stages where we we're having the conversations about uh, country policies that would need to make us get some recipes that will better sell what we have to the Western world than always um, swallowing what the Western world brings to us. Can you reiterate that? Like I said, um, if you look at our vocationals and catering schools, you, we need to ask ourselves what book are they using? They are all using the Western books. You understand? So right from the beginning, we are learning from Western cuisine, and we migrate to the Western food. That is why right now, we need to import a whole lot of food from other countries into our... That is the taste that we have developed for our own people. So it is time we need to encourage what we have. We need to educate our people that, yes, whatever happened, we need to eat it, no matter how it is. Gone are the days when you talk of Ghanaian cuisine, even rice. We eat rice once in a year. Today, rice has become, during Christmas, but today, rice has become one of our habits. If you go to school feeding, that is what they are using to feed them. So, right from the infant, we are feeding them with the rice. So, when they grow up, we have trained them how to eat Western cuisine. Today, we have KFC, we have a whole lot of other Western. Uh, restaurants across the country, including uh, uh, Chinese and everything. But it is time we need to make a policy, like I said, to encourage the hotel and these facilities so that they can able to put at least a certain percentage of our local food in the restaurant. Because if you have the policy that can able to encourage, then they need to go about it. We are here when there was a policy that we need to int they introduce local content into some of our mining sites and catering establishment. Or whatever. Why can't we do the same here? You understand? If you go to eastern, uh, western part of uh, the world or China, everything there is their own destiny, their own food. Why can't we do the same here? We can do it, and we need to. And I think it is time for us to do it. We need to encourage our own people to eat what we have. And I think when we do that, we are investing into our economy and at the same time, the country. So I'm, I'm here at another table. It looks like one of the smallest tables, but very strong personalities behind the table. So this is the Gambian table. I've not opened the chefing dishes yet, so I don't know what is inside. But um, Chef, uh, let me speak to you first. Y your name? I am Chef Bojan, the president of the Gambia Chefs Association. Awesome. So w what do we have on your, on your table today? Well, today we brought you a delicacy of the Gambian indigenous cuisine, which consists of a chicken yasa, which is a citrus spice um, sauce. And we have domoda, which is a, a peanut butter soup, alongside with the plain rice. How do we open it from here? Yeah, we open it from okay. Whoa. So, um, quickly take a, a run us through the preparation for this soup. This soup is prepared for either a meat, a vegetarian, uh, a fish, or a chicken uh, dish. So, technically, what is more of having to do the aromas of uh, ingredients together. Then add. So, so how, how do you prepare it? Right. You have your, if you want, you can choose with the onions, saute them, like I make like a sauce, base up, or a boil up, peanut butter in it, tomato tomato puree, season it with whatever seasoning, either your maggi, your jimbo, or your salt and pepper, it's up to you, the choice that you want to use in it. So boil it until you see the oily bit coming out, that means it's ready, because the oil needs to come out of the peanut butter. Um, so. Uh, this particular peanut butter soup, is, it looks like it's common with most of the countries I have seen today. Because from Ghana to Sierra Leone to Burkina Faso to Nigeria to um, Gambia, we are seeing the peanut. I think even in Rwanda, I saw something like this. So the countries have almost the same dishes. Um, Chef, this is aubergine, right? Yes, it's aubergine. And that one you can see are the uh, bell peppers, and we have a. Uh, you know, okay. So behind you, you have the fans going on for Gambia. You have <laughs> everyone from different parts of Africa cheering Gambia on. This is how fun it is. This is um, the beauty of Warfest. Apart from the food, we also chant, um, do the dancing. So Gambia joins the rest of um, Africa, the chefs here, and then we... <laughs> 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 
any gem kwa. So everyone is cheering Gambia on. You have Nigeria. You are. <laughs> you are doing what? We are taking the guests away. But they are your chefs. You can't take them away. I still, we, we use them for a uh, beef sauce. <laughs> So uh, that, that is on the sidelines. They, they are taking the chefs away. But chef, um, that's it for this one. Let's um, look at. Oh, that one is um, uh, the three times, and it, it has to be the, the most popular dish today in um, Gambia. No, in here today. Okay. Um, we refilled it twi uh, three times, and all finished. So we are small where the production was enough. You know, the people are in love with your your your, yes, your yes. dish. But that's what we've seen here now. So we're really happy with that. That's called yasa. It was chicken, but the yasa is the citrus spice sauce. So in the coming days, we are going to see the best of Gambia from um, tomorrow to the final day in the competition. Definitely. So who is winning the competition? Gambia, we've always done it. This is not the first time we've done it. Okay. We won in 20, 20, um, 2018, 2019, 2021. So this time cannot be left out. Whoa, so Gambia says they have won three times, so they are taking that of 2020. But that's the beauty of it. We are having fun, it's food. And we're taking but back home. And <laughs> he Jolof. says he's taking Jollof back home, where? The Gambia. But Jollof is not for the Gambia. Yes, the, the word Jollof means uh, born for two, which is a language in my country, which in a region called Jollof. So that's where the rice comes from. So you believe Jollof is yours? It's mine, it belongs to me. We will see about that in the coming. <laughs>